The InDesign interface is very flexible. It allows us to change how various panels look, but it also allows us to change how menus look and how the keyboard shortcuts work. You're familiar with many keyboard shortcuts, I'm sure. Things like undo, which would be control Z on a Windows computer or command Z on a Macintosh. But InDesign has keyboard shortcuts for many actions within the application. Let's see how we can customize keyboard shortcuts in InDesign. Under the Edit menu, scroll down to Keyboard Shortcuts. You'll see that we're using the default set of keyboard shortcuts, and the keyboard shortcuts are ways for us to use our keyboard to very quickly access behaviors inside of the application. If we look in the Product Area menu, you can see that there are lots of different areas that we can customize. For instance, looking at the Edit menu, you can see all of the items that appear in the Edit menu. If we scroll up, you can see Copy. Select Copy, and you'll see on a Macintosh, Command-C, and on a Windows computer, Control-C. All of these shortcuts are customizable. If you'd like Copy to be Command-Shift-C, for instance, then you can create a new keyboard shortcut. To create a new keyboard shortcut, simply click in the New Shortcut area, and then type the new shortcut. I'm going to use on my Macintosh right now Command Option Control C. So holding down Command Option Control and C. Windows users should press Control Alt Shift C. If I click Assign right now, it will add that keyboard shortcut to the Copy command. Once you begin modifying sets, you'll need to create a new set. So what I'd like to do here is to create a new set which will be based on the default set of keyboard shortcuts. Let's call it Total Training Keyboard. Click OK or hit Return to accept. Now you'll see our set at the top is called Total Training Keyboard and under Copy we've got Command C but also Control Option Command C. I can also remove keyboard shortcuts by simply selecting them and choosing Remove. Once I've made a modification to my set, I can click Save. There are some default keyboard shortcut sets that ship with InDesign, and they are important to notice. First of all, there's the PageMaker 7 shortcut set, so if you're coming over from PageMaker, that's a pretty handy shortcut set. It will make InDesign feel much closer to PageMaker. There's also one for users who are coming over from Quark Express. So if you're used to placing content with Command-E, for instance, or Control-E, you can now use that keystroke inside of InDesign instead of Command-D, which is what InDesign uses by default. For now, let's just choose our Total Training Keyboard and then click OK to exit the dialog. We can also modify how menus appear. We do that under the Edit menu and then choose Menus at the bottom. Once again, we have access to commands within the application and we can decide, in this case, whether those commands are visible and what color they are. Let's do two things right now. First of all, let's hide the Browse in Bridge menu item. To hide a menu item, click the eyeball under the Visibility column. Now it is no longer visible in the menu. And let's change the color of the Open menu item. Click on the color, click on the menu, and let's choose Violet. You'll notice that we've changed a default setting. So what we'll have to do is to save the menu customization. We'll call this one Total Training Menus. And click OK to accept. Now you'll see that our Total Training Menus has Browse and Bridge invisible in the file menu and Open should be violet. InDesign does not ship with other menu sets that may help you to transition from applications like PageMaker or Quark Express. Click OK to return to the application. Now if we look at the file menu, you'll see that Open is now violet 
and the Browse and Bridge is disappeared. If we'd like to be able to see the missing menu items, then we can turn them on by choosing Show All Menu Items at the bottom of the File menu. And now Browse and Bridge has returned.